good YouTube today. We're doing a tier list for NFL, trying to predict like the like the records and stuff. Because right now, as of recording this, it is not the NFL season yet. It, it is like a few weeks after the NFL draft. So let's get into this. Starting off with the Patriots and their big move of drafting Drake May. Four, honestly, four wins, all right? Because their wide receiver and running back like still need some help plus their O-line. They did get a quarterback, and if he does pan out this year, maybe it like, gets like maybe seven wins possibly, then I think they'll be fine because they mainly just need wide receivers and running back. And I don't, I don't know every single team's, you know, draft class, like how good it was or anything because I'm not really a fan of every NFL team, just the Panthers. So, yeah, but now let's move on to the Bills. Bills, easily, 10 wins. As long as they have Josh Allen, They'll be fine. Yes, they did draft um, Gabe Davis. Yes, they did draft Stefan Diggs. Yes, they are idiots for giving freaking the Chiefs Xavier Worthy. But they got King Coleman. And I would just assume that he's going to be a good player. I'm not going to say that he's a bust or he looks like a bust. All right. He has some great energy. I did watch some of his um, interviews, I guess that you could say he had, press conferences. And he does seem like a chill, chill guy. And honestly, I do believe that the Bills can get 10 wins, high 10. But as long as they have Josh Allen, they're fine. And plus, I don't think Josh Allen has really ever gotten injured. So yeah, now moving on to the Jets. Four snaps. Four snaps is all it took. But honestly, as long as Aaron Rodgers stays healthy, they're honestly a 11 to 13 win team. Because it was just a phenomenon that Aaron Rodgers is towards MC on ACL. That early, I'm not saying it's a phenomenon at what's it called, um, the stadium that the Jets play on. Because their, their turf is trash. So many people got injured on that field. But yeah, as long as Aaron Rodgers stays healthy, then easily 11 to 13 wins. The Dolphins, same thing, same boat, 11 to 13. They just got a running back that is quicker. They have OBJ, they have Tyreek Hill, Jalen Waddle, Tua, Raheem Moster. And plus, again, like I just said, a running back that I think had like the fastest um, 40 time in the running backs with like a 4-2, 4-3, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, their whole set is just like fast players. But honestly, that is fine. And plus, their defense too is honestly solid. Bradley Chubb, I think, is coming back as well. So yeah. Now moving on to the Steelers. I see this being a 9-8 and eight team again with Russell Wilson. Because, dude, Russell Wilson on the Broncos was trash. Yes, the Steelers, I think, do have a better wide receiver core with George Pickens. Pickens? Pickens? Whatever his name is. Plus the tight ends. Yes, they, and I think they did help their own line this year. And just like last year, they're going to get carried by their defense. Because as if Russell Wilson is the Broncos, Russell Wilson that we knew it from for the Broncos... It is going to be pretty tough because they also did get to Justin Fields, but it is rumored that he might be a punt returner, which is insane. From quarterback to punt returner is wild. Honestly, I feel like they might, they might give Justin Fields maybe like a few starting jobs like every here and there throughout the year. But I think it'd be mainly Russell Wilson if he doesn't do too good. Now for the Ravens, I think this could be the first 14 and 7, 14 and 3 type of game, like a team. Because last year they did amazing. They just forgot about the run when they played the Chiefs. I don't know how. It is insane how they lost to them in playoffs. But honestly, this is like probably one of the most roundabout teams. Like just like amazing, honestly. And defense is killer. Offense is killer. Mark Andrews is amazing. The wide receiver core. It honestly, with Zay Flowers is amazing as well. I think they did adjust more wide receiver, I think, in this draft. I could be mistaken. But this could be the first team where I say they can actually 14. Because they had 13 last year. So maybe they can make the hump to get in 14. Now for the Browns. Honestly, I see them getting 10 wins like they did last year. I think they had no they were, I think they were 11 and 6 last year, if I'm not mistaken. They just need freaking Deshaun Watson to pan out. Because just like the Steelers, their quarterback play wasn't the best until Joe Flacco, Sleepy Joe, got for, came up from the couch and said, you know what, this is my team now. So as long as Deshaun Watson is a good NFL player, like at least like half of what he was on the Texans, then I think they'll be fine. But their same Steelers situation where like their defense is so good that they could just get carried by their defense. And no, I'm not going to comment about Deshaun Watson off the field. This is just purely on the field. Now for the Bengals. 11 wins, all right? Actually, hold up. 11 wins. I could see them being good as long as Joe Barrow stays healthy. Because I know last season he was playing with an injured wrist. And that's why he was out for the whole season. But I think he should be coming back this season. As long as he's fine, you know, T. Higgins, Jamar Chase, Joe Burrow. I can't remember who the running back is now because they did trade Joe Mixon. Plus, their defense is honestly Sal Staller. So, I say 12 wins. This is like maybe, you know... Ah, this is tough like 11 i say these are 11 this could be like 12 wins right here titans they're they're, they're banking on will levis i'm sorry but seven wins is the most they're getting this year i see them only getting seven 
they are addressing some needs that they that they really have, but seven ones is the most. For the Jaguars, this is a tough one because you expect Trevor Lawrence to make that jump to stardom that everyone predicted he to do to, to take, but he hasn't yet, and he had so much help like Calvin Ridley. More wide receivers are helping him now this year too. I think they got Darren Waller, if I'm not mistaken, unless he's still on the Jets. But dude, like last season was a phenomenon. Like how they lost, I think five or six straight. Like they were nine and three, and then just went to end up nine, nine and eight, if I'm not mistaken, or eight and or eight and nine. One of those. It is crazy how the fall off that he had in the second year. I see them having the same one, eight to nine wins, possibly eight. Now to the Texans. They did not have a first round draft this year, but you know what? I don't even think they need it. I think they're going to be the best team here in the 10 win column with just 10 wins again. I could see them getting 11, but low 11, but I say they'll have 10 in my opinion. I mean, CG Stroud is panning out to be the best. He might have a soft force slump. I'm not hoping for that. I hope that he still has an amazing year. The wide receivers, Tank Dell, Nico Collins are still going to be amazing. But I think they have still their tight ends are the same as well. Just amazing team. Defense is pretty solid. I think they did recoup on more defensive players because, I mean, what can you do to the offense, you know? I said maybe O-line, but that's like, that's only so much you can do. Now for the Colts, last year they went 9-8, and eight, I think, or 8-9. and nine. I can see them having the same thing. AR-15 um, AR or um, Anthony Richardson should be coming back because last year he did get injured. I forgot what injury he had, but if he's healthy and he was playing like how he was beforehand, my, they did. They went eight and nine or nine eight with a guard dimension. Now with a first round pick of Ar Richardson, yes, Ar Richardson, Anthony Richardson. Goodness, I'm saying his name wrong. And there's no disrespect to guard dimension because he is a soft quarterback. But we haven't seen Ar 15 pan out. So hopefully he is healthy this year. And I do see them getting eight to nine wins most. I would put them above the, the Jaguars. Now for the Chargers, Joe All is a number one overall. John Harbaugh. Okay, I'm going to say this. They don't really have that many good wide receivers. But even then, I could see them being better than the Bills. Actually, no, I can't say. That's too tough. I say better than the Steelers. This is like the threshold for 10 wins. If Joe O pans out, their O-line is good. Their wide receivers do need some help there. They do need some good help for the wide receivers. So if they can get the help from now to the season starts, or the wide receivers just become God, I can see them getting 10 wins easily. Because I know last year they had like, what, five or seven around there. So yeah, I can see that being good. Now for Denver Broncos, let's ride. They got Bo Nix, 12th overall. I'm sorry, Broncos fan. Seven wins again. All right, he's in a situation where a lot of the team right now is just in shambles. Like they're kind of just a moral from last season to Russell Wilson. This is gonna be a pick me up here where they're like, all right, we're building something toward the future. We have our set pieces here. We will be prepared for next season. And next season, like 2025, I can see them going easily. 10 wins but right now they're just building the bones of their team chiefs now it's patrick mahomes what, what do you expect they literally just got another tyreek hill like what do you expect these two teams are to be the super bowl favorites for the afc it's insane how good they are now the raiders just got gardner Minshew. so for that i'm gonna give them seven wins seven wins they're at the top of this this right here is like seven seven six and five the Raiders, they got Gardner Minshew. They still have Devontae Adams, which might plan to leave, maybe. I wouldn't blame him if he did. So, yeah. Now for the Cardinals, Kyler Murley. They just got Marvin Harrison Jr., a freak of nature of a wide receiver. They did address some um, defensive positions that they did need. But I still see them six wins. Again, for teams that, like, did bad this year, I feel like they're going to still do bad this year, but they're actually building a foundation. So, for the next season, they'll actually have something to go upon off. So, yeah. Now the Rams. Last season, they were the dark horse. 10-7. and seven. The team that could have made it to the playoffs again. No, they did make a playoffs. They could have made it to the Super Bowl again. They could have beat the 49ers. They could have beat the Rams. They almost did beat the Lions. They were one point away. For that, I honestly see them better than, than the Bills. And there's a lot of teams here. But honestly, I do see a lot of these teams going 9-8. and eight. But Dude, the Rams are good. So as long as they have Matthew Stafford, and he's, as long as he stays healthy, Puka Nakua doesn't have something. He's fine Cooper Cup. It's just phenomenal. Now the Seahawks fired Pete Carroll, sadly. But they did get a new head coach. So let's say, I'm going to say 7. All right. When you get a new head coach, all right, it's either they're the best head coach or the new system like Sean McVay, or you have blunders like Frank Reich. 
And I'm going to just say this. I don't think the head coach is going to be bad. I just think he's going to need an adjustment period. So for that reason, I'm going to give him seven wins. 49ers. I can see them getting a freaking 14 wins. They were the, also the other team that were just amazing and stellar. They lost in the Super Bowl because they kind of choked and the head coach was not the brightest when the lights were on. But dude, they got a new wide receiver. So it's Rupert Brandon at you or... Debo Samuel might be leaving, which is idiotic because Debo Samuel basically is a hybrid running back and wide receiver. So I was like, why oh, would you get rid of that? So but I could see them getting 14 wins, honestly. No, we them boys, the Cowboys. 11 wins. I could see them getting a solid 11. They're like the 76ers of the NFL. It's always their year. And then when playoff shows up, they're skedaddled. This is, I think, like the break, make or break year for Dak Prescott. And for some reason, they signed Zeke Alley. I don't know what he's going to do. So for that, I'm giving them 11 wins. The Commanders drafted Jaden Daniels. I think third overall, if I'm not mistaken. They are still going to need a lot more because I think they do have still Curtis Samuel. I miss you on the Panthers. But um, they also have Scary Terry. They got a lot. And I mean, like, a lot of free agents. Like I couldn't even like list all of them. It would be here forever. So uh, for that, I'm going to give them... S I say they're going to be better than these teams. But worse than these, I think they're like a six-win team at most. Now the Giants, Malik Neighbors, the disappointment in his body was crazy. But I'm going to say they're on the same boat with the with the freaking commanders. When you play the Eagles and Cowboys in the same division, Super Bowl contenders, playoff contenders, it's going to be hard to win. And like I just said, Eagles, 12 wins. I can see them getting 12 wins. More than the Cowboys. Last year was a phenomenon. They won like 10-1 and one, and then fell off and went 10-7 and seven and lost first round to the Bucks in the playoffs. It was insane how, how much they fell off. Like, it is crazy. Now the Packers, Jordan Love. The youngest team, or was the youngest team in the NFL at that time for that season. They won 9-8. and eight. I can see them getting 10 wins. Honestly, I can see them getting 10-11 to 11 wins here. They're, if they were like, they'd be like bottom here, but... They're a high 10 win team. Actually, no, okay. I'll put Texans 11 and everything else. So I'll just keep the same. But Packers are solid. Look out for them this year. They'll be fine. Lions. 14 wins. I could honestly see them getting 14 wins. They built a foundation of this team and only built up from it. It was insane how much they actually did. So almost say for the Lions is wear diaper. Because 14 wins I can see happening. The Vikings. JJ McCarthy. They get rid of Kirk, Kirk O'Bang and Kirk O'Chains. For JJ McCarthy, it's gonna be rough for him. They 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 have JJ McC they have J Jettis, but it's gonna be tough. Now the Bears, honestly, they just got Caleb Williams, and he is the next coming of Patrick Mahomes. And if he does penalty be that way, I'm sorry. It's like you have two wide receiver ones in Keelan Allen. DJ Moore. They don't have Darnell Moby anymore because they um, traded him to the Falcons, which is kind of idiotic because that would have been a crazy wide receiver room. I forget their running back, but I know that they were solid. Plus, their tight end of, of um, Cole Komet is honestly uh, solid as well. Dude, If as long as Kayla Williams pans out and their O-line is able to hold up, 11 wins. But if not, and he's like has a rough first year, 7 wins. But I'm, I'm going to just take the positive and go with 11. Now for the Falcons, Kirkle Baines, Kirkle Chains, talk to me. Ten, w ah, gosh, okay, hold up. You're in an easy division with the Panthers, Saints, Bucks. I'm, I'm giving Kirkle Bain, Kyle Pitts, Drake London, no, yeah, Drake London. I think Joe Mixon is on this team as well. Like literally, the amount of first overalls is crazy. I, I might see them be better than... I think they will be a 12-win team. Honestly, in my opinion. Now for the Saints. It's going to be a rough year for Jan Derek Carr. That's all I'm saying. I think they'll be better than the Giants, but worse than it, any other teams. I'd say like six six wins at most. Bucks last year. Baker Buffalo had a resurgence in his career. Won 9-8. and eight. And I still see that happening. I think he'll be in the 10 echelon, but just beating the Steelers for 10 ones like here's like 10 and then like like basically this is like maybe possibly like from here to here is nine these could be all 10 wins maybe 10 starts here and it's like nine and down but i could see the bucks being a solid team this year now for my favorite team the panthers 
Simple. 14 and 3. We, we address every position need wide receiver, O line, defense. No, I'm just kidding. Honestly, I see us getting, I say, seven wins. I think we'll be the top of seven. We're still going to be bad this year. Don't get me wrong. When your wide receiver two is, is Adam Thielen, or even wide receiver one. Like, we were so bad. Adam Thielen got a thousand yards, but no one even cared. Bryce Young still does need some, like, progression to be better. Our O line needs a lot of help. We did get um, Robert Hunt, which is going to help us as a guard. We got Xavier Leggett, Leggett, if I'm pronouncing that right. We got a good wide receiver and tight end with Sanders, plus a good Jonathan Brooks running back. We did address some of the defense, but I still think we're right now building the bones, and I think we'll need more to be up here in playoff contention. I feel like we're just going to miss the playoffs. And our new head coach, he has to pound out Dave Canales, and I have hope for him. But this is my tier list of like what I think our prediction of what I think NFL players or teams are going to get. Comment down what you guys, is it wrong for me or like what I got right or like your prediction for any other team. But leave a like, subscribe, and a comment down for more. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.